Hello everybody, thanks for watching today. I'm your professor, Daniel Palacio. Today's lesson is about writing good topic sentences. In this video, we will briefly discuss paragraph structure. We will define a topic sentence. We will look at three important factors for writing a good topic sentence. And we will analyze examples of good topic sentences. Let's talk about paragraph structure and unity first. There are four main parts to think about. First are topic sentences, the focus of this video. Topic sentences clearly state the main idea of the paragraph. Also, supporting sentences. These provide background and evidence. They're all connected to the topic sentence. Third is the concluding sentence, which restates the main idea. They also signal the end of the paragraph. And four, connecting words and phrases help your readers understand how your ideas will fit together. They help with cohesion, making all your ideas flow easily so your reader can understand. We will talk more about supporting sentences, concluding sentences, and connecting words and phrases in other lessons. But for today, let's zoom in and talk more about topic sentences. So what are they? There's three main things to think about when writing a topic sentence. One, it should clearly state the main idea. In other words, what's my paragraph about? Two, it should give support for your main idea. What do I want to say about this topic? And three, it should answer the prompt in a writing class. What are the key terms and ideas that I need to talk about for this writing assignment? Let's talk about all three of these things in more detail. First, topic sentences need to clearly state the main idea. This is important because it tells the reader what you will learn about. Also, it's usually going to be the first sentence of your paragraph. So it should be clear what your main idea is. So what should you do here? Tell the reader what you'll write about. Tell them exactly what you'll write about. Here's an example. An important community that I am part of is my soccer team. When I read this sentence, I think, Everything in this paragraph will be about the importance of this soccer team and it's going to focus on the writer's experience with this soccer team. Second, fate and destiny seem similar, but they're actually two different ideas. So the reader will think everything in this paragraph will be about fate and destiny and the paragraph will focus on the differences between these two ideas. The next thing your topic sentences needs to do is give support for your main idea. You need to tell the reader what you're going to say about this topic, not just what the topic is, but what are you going to say about it? So be specific, but don't give away too much detail. That's what the supporting sentences are for. In other words, you can give an opinion that you will develop in your paragraph. Here's an example. I'll never forget the day that my car broke down in the middle of the freeway because this experience taught me a valuable lesson. So the reader thinks, yeah, this paragraph will tell me a story about this difficult experience and it's going to connect it with some lesson that the writer learned from the experience. Here's another example. Being part of a community means having shared history and shared goals with a group of people. And this is exactly what I have in my classroom community. So the reader will think that this paragraph will give more definition about a community and it will give details and incidents about a community that the writer is part of. Next, your topic sentence needs to answer the prompt if you're in a writing class, of course. So in a writing class, you need to make sure that you complete every part of the assignment. You don't want to miss anything that the teacher asks you to do. You want to answer every part. So read the prompt very carefully, especially the verbs, and use any key words from that prompt in your topic sentence. Here's an example prompt. This is from your short write assignment. Write about some communities that you are part of. These could be your living communities or your fellowship communities. Describe at least two communities that you are part of and explain why or how these are communities. In your response, use specific examples and reasons to support your answer. So some key words here are communities, and then some key verbs are describe and explain, 
and also the word two is important. You need to describe two communities, not one, not three, two. So here's an example topic sentence. My family and my neighborhood are two important communities that I'm part of. And both are communities because people there all want to help each other. The first part of the topic sentence describes the two communities that you're part of. The supporting sentences will describe them more, but the topic sentence mentions them. The second part of the topic sentence explains how or why these are communities. And of course, the supporting sentences will develop that even more. So to review, there are three main things to think about for a topic sentence. One, you need to clearly state the main idea. What is my paragraph about? Two, give support for your main idea. What do I want to say about this topic? What's my opinion that I want to give? And three, for a writing class, answer the prompt completely. What are the key terms and ideas that I must talk about for this writing assignment? Thanks everybody. I hope this was helpful. See you soon.